lost their lives, posthumous uh, medals for uh, the people of uh, Ukraine who have lost their lives in a, in a bitter war, a brutal war, and a war that has now lasted a year. And uh, there we are, there's uh, images there of the families of, of the fallen who are accepting medals from President uh, Zelensky this morning. Back in the UK, uh, the Labour leader, Keir Starmer, uh, is also taking part in the minute's silence. He's in Cardiff, where he's been uh, meeting the Ukrainian uh, community there. Uh, the Prime Minister, former Prime Minister, I should say, Boris Johnson, uh, he has been at uh, a Ukrainian Catholic cathedral this morning, uh, lighting candles uh, at a service there in central London. Boris Johnson talking to me last night and saying that uh, Britain should give all the tools that Ukraine needed. Uh, Rishi Sunak is now leading that uh, national one-minute silence from Downing Street. There we are, a minute silence outside Downing Street, Rishi Sunak there. Also, the Ukrainian ambassador to the UK was there, and uh, uh, the national anthem of Ukraine was uh, sung as well, and that uh, minute silence was uh, respected in many places 
around the UK today. There has also, uh, in the past hour, been a message uh, issued by the King. Uh, he has said it is now uh, a year that the people of Ukraine have suffered unimaginably from an unprovoked full-scale attack on their nation. They have shown truly remarkable courage and resilience in the face of such human tragedy. The world has watched in horror he says that all the unnecessary suffering inflicted upon Ukrainians, many of whom I have had the great pleasure of meeting here in the UK and indeed across the world from Romania to Canada. Earlier this month, I met President Zelensky at Buckingham Palace to express my personal support for the people of Ukraine. It is heartening that the United Kingdom, along with its allies, is doing everything possible to help at this most difficult time. Therefore, I can only hope the outpouring of solidarity from across the globe may bring not only practical aid, but also uh, strength from the knowledge that together uh, we stand united. And that is a very interesting message from the King there, saying that he is hoping...